today I'm going to be sharing with you this high school makeup tutorial. This is just what it looks like, but it is totally your preference, whatever you want to do for your makeup look, if you want to wear makeup. Don't feel pressure to wear makeup, even if all these people on YouTube are showing you makeup looks. Don't feel pressured. But before we get into the video, I wanted to make sure you guys know, I always have my social media linked down below. I would love for you guys to follow me on there, because I really try to keep up on Instagram. I'm really trying to get more like popular on Instagram, you know, like my feed better, and also Twitter because I will, I like to like tell you guys things on there. So if you guys could follow me on those two things, I also have Snapchat down there if you want to do that, whatever. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that those stuff is always there, and I would love for you guys to be able to follow me on there. So anyway, with that all being said, let's get on to the video. So I'm going to be starting off with my Aveeno Positively Ageless Correcting Tinted Moisturizer. I really like this because it um, is just a really nice and light, um, like it kind of is like foundation. Um, I really like it when it's light. Um, I have the color like medium or something like that. Um, and it's a really like sheer tint, which I really like. And it has a SPF of 30. Um, even though I'll be in school most of the time I'm wearing this, um, it'll still be nice to have that coverage if I need it. Um, and this really just gives me a light uh, cover and I don't even need to do concealer when I do this. I just go back in with a little bit more of it on the spots that I need, so that's what I'm going to I'm also using my beauty blender to do this. There are many dupes that are good for beauty blenders. I just like the original one the most, but I'm sure there are definitely many dupes that I haven't tried that are really good. I hear the Real Techniques one is really good, so you could probably use that one too, but I just really like it. So now that that's all done, I'm going to be going in with my Riddle Stay Matte Powder. This is in the color Buff Beige, and I'm just going to go in with this um, all over my skin to set the tinted moisturizer and just a flat top brush. I really like this powder, so it keeps my face matte all day, which I really like. Now I'm going to go in with my NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder. Um, this is in the color Brunette, and I'm just going to take this icing, like, angled brush. I, um, really like icing's brushes for a cheaper, um, alternative if you need that. So that is definitely a great, um, um, brush brand if it's a nice color for me. And, I don't know, I've just always liked powder more than, like, go in with this Master Highlight um, Highlighting Face Bronzer thing. This is just from Maybelline. It is really nice. It's like a um, blush and highlight combined, so I really like this. I just like putting this on the apples of my cheeks for a light like, glow. I really like highlight, and me myself, I would put highlight on with this. But I know some people for school just want it light and flushed with a little bit of highlight, which I like as well. And that's probably what I'll be doing for school and I won't have time to do my highlight. So this works as a great like, way to use both. This is in the color light bronze and I really like this one. My Kiko bronzer. And I'm going to be taking my icing uh, contour powder brush and I'm just going to go in on the regular um, point of my face where I would normally contour. I just really like to give my face color um, when in school time. So now I'm going to be going in with this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in yogurt and I'm just going to put this all over my eyes as a primer. I really like this. Um, as a primer, this feels it works really well. And I'm going to blend it in with this Avon uh, just cream shadow brush, which I really like. Um, this really looks nice and it's affordable. One 
one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes that I've been using lately that's really affordable is this CoverGirl palette in the color Shimmering Sands. It has really nice neutral colors, which I really like. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the lightest color on this um, Ego Tools brush, which I really like Ego Tools as well. And I'm just going to be putting this all over my lid, the yogurt pencil. So now I'm going to be going in with another Eco Tools brush, and I'm going to be going in with the medium shade, and I'm just going to be taking this and putting this in my crease. I love this um, for school because it's just so natural, and I really like shimmery shadows for school. Um, just because sometimes I think that I can get like dark and muddy, and I don't really like that look because it doesn't really make you look too awake. Um, so that's why I really enjoy using shimmer shadows for school. Now I'm going to be going in with this Real Techniques blending brush. And I'm just going to blend it. This my now I'm going to be going in with my eyeliner. I'm not sure if this is a um, drugstore. It is from the brand Scoon. I got it in an Ipsy thing. But yeah, I'm just going to be putting this on. to be going in with my NYX Wonder Pencil. This is really nice to just open up your eyes and brighten them. So now I'm going to be going in with my e.l.f. eyelash color, which this is a great eyelash color. I totally recommend it. Like, why have you spent top dollar for an eyelash color? You can get this one for amazing for one dollar. And I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Mascara. This is my everyday mascara. I love it so much. Even though it's drugstore, it is literally perfect. I love it so much. So I'm just going to go in and curl my lashes. And like I'm saying again, guys, you do not have to wear this much makeup. Makeup is totally a preference. It's like whatever you like, you do. Um, and that's why I love makeup so much because nothing's right or wrong. It's all, you know, it's just what you like. I'm beautiful just the way you are. And I know that's so cliche and everyone says it, but it's so true. You don't have to do lips. Trust me, personally, I like never do lip products. I don't know. I just like never like do them. I really don't know why. But I normally just forget. But I'm going to go in with my NYX Butter Lip Balm, and it's in the color Biscotti. And I'm just going to go in with this. It's just a light nude color, and it doesn't even like look like you have anything on. But it's moisturizing, and it gives you like a little bit of tint. Well, yeah that is just my finished look thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're new to our channel we would love to have you here and for you to stick around so i will see you guys in my next video i love you to the moon and back bye guys